Hello, my little loves. Send my family here. I just wanted to make a video so that I could say hello and we could maybe exercise together and show you what I've been doing. I found an injured baby squirrel since we've been on break, and so I've been taking care of her, feeding her, and getting her back healthy. Her name is Wilhelmina, and she's keeping me very busy while we're on break. So I hope that y'all are all having fun and listening to your parents and being helpers. And um, I want good reports when we get back, okay? So now we're gonna get into our stretches and our exercises, and we're gonna do all the things that we normally do in class so that we can practice at home. Okay, let's get our blood pumping and let's get warmed up. Ready, let's go to play. Take your knees up really high. How high can you get? Get high, let's go, go. Good, keep your going. Stop. Great job. Now we're going to do jumping jacks. Can you count to 10 with me? I want you to count really loud, okay? Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Now we're going to make popcorn. You remember how to do that? We're going to go. Pop up. Jump up as high as you can. Up up. Keep it going. Good. Pop up. One more. Great job. Okay, now we're going to work on rock and rolls and back bends. So don't forget to rock and roll. We're going to hold on to our knees. We're going to be in a ball. We're going to round that back. We're going to put our chin to our chest and we're going to rock and roll. Here we go. Rock and roll one and up. Rock and roll two and up. Rock and roll three and up. Rock and roll four and up. Rock and roll five. Good job. Now we're going to work on our back bend. If you can't do a back bend yet, that's okay. So I want you to practice your bridges. You're going to put your hands down behind you. Put those feet down, push those heels, bend those hands into the ground. And we're going to push, 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 push. Get those hips as high as you can. Keep those heels on the ground, okay? And come down. Good job. And now for my big kids who know how to do their back bend, I want you to practice. Let's put a cupcake here, cupcake here. Get ready. And we are going to squash them. Squash those cupcakes really hard. And we're going to push up, push up, push, 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 push. Hold it one, two, three. Four, five, look for your belly and come down. Good job. Okay, big kids, we've been doing so good on our forward bowls. So while we're on break, I really want you to keep up that work, okay? So we're going to reach all the way up. We're going to strong arms up. Reach down, look for your belly, look for your belly. Push, push, push. Reach all the way forward and up. It's okay if you don't have a trampoline. There's still some things you can do at home to practice tuck, height, and straddle. So first, we're going to work on our tuck position. We're going to do strong arms all the way up. And then we're going to squat down and hold onto those knees. Hold it one, two, three, four, five. Stand it up. And we're going to do it again. Here we go. Up, down. One, two, three, four, five. One more time. Here we go. And reach all the way up. Strong arm. Go into strong arm. And reach down. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. One way we can practice our pipe jumps at home is to make sure that our toes are touching and pointed out in front of us. And one way we can do that without a trampoline is with knee sticks. So we're going to take our hands, we're going to place them behind us, and we're going to lift those toes straight up in the air with our ankles touching, feet together, legs straight. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Bring it down. Good job. Let's do it again. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. 
Pointed feet, really straight leg. That's pointed toes out in front. Ready? One more time. And one, two, three, four, five. Good job. Okay, now we're going to work on our straddle jump. Our straddle, when we jump, we want our legs to open up like this, okay? So we can start in a butterfly position. And we're going to kick our leg down and hold it for three seconds. But it's a little trickier, a little harder than a pipe. So we're going to lean back on our hands. And we're going to kick our feet out. One, two, three. Good straddle stick. Here we go. Let's do it again. One, two, three. Great job. You're getting so strong. I'm so proud of you. Let's do it one more time. And here we go. One, two, three. Good job on the straddle fit, guys. One of my favorite ways to develop our strong arms and get our muscles ready for our cartwheels and our back handsprings is to work on spider walk handstands. Be sure that mama or daddy or an adult is with you before you do this, okay? So you're going to reach strong arms all the way up. Look at that belly. Reach down and walk those feet up the wall and hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Walk it down. And finish with pretty strong arms. Okay, my little loves, I hope that you enjoyed that video and that you'll do it once a week to keep up with your stretches and all the strength you've been gaining from coming to gymnastics. And we'll work on those skills at home until we can all be together again. But until then, I want you to use your good manners. I want you to be helpful to your family. And I want you to be sweet and kind, okay? And don't forget to wash your hands very often. I love you all, and I'm thinking of you, and I miss you. So until I see you again, let's put our hands in for hang time. Ready? One, two, three, hang time!